Hello everybody and welcome to Forever Rugby on Forever Sports. Rusty Rasmus has just announced his Springbok squad for the two matches against New Zealand with a couple of shock selections, including the return of Nicholas Janssen van Rensburg, who uh, played in the series against British and Irish Lions in that sort of year and they kind of basically completely dropped off the radar. He is back in the mix amid the lock crisis. There are also returns for Kanan Moody, Jane Hendricks, Jasper Visa, as well as Andre Esterhazy, with a couple of players dropping out of the squad, such as Johan Kobler, for example, Mornif van den Berg. Um, but a very interesting squad announced by Rusty Rasmus, which will be for the first two matches um, against the All Blacks. The first taking uh, place at Ellis Park on the 31st of August. And the next a week later, down in Cape Town, and uh, two wins needed to get that uh, Freedom Cup back, as well as to put ourselves really basically like on the verge of winning the Rugby Championship for the first time in five years. Let's get into the squad show because there is a lot to get through, a lot to uh, to to pick apart, really. Um, so let's have a look at it, shall we? This is the squad that has been named by Rusty Erasmus, and. Uh, so many different things to to look at, and uh, we're going to go through exactly some of his sort of justification and um, kind of what he has to say about everything. But uh, this is basically just sort of an initial look. And in the props, we have got Thomas Detoy, Stephen Kitsop back in the mix as well, Vincent Koch, Franz Moherba, Oxen Chair, Kirostina Camp, as well as Jan Hendrik Vessel. So still no Trevor Nikani, for example, he sort of continues to kind of be phased out. Um, but there is a return of Stephen Kitsop, and yet a retention of Jan Hendrik Vessels, which just sort of goes to show just how highly they do rate him. And I think the big thing in terms of how highly they rate Jan Hendrik Vessels is the fact that Johan Kravala has dropped out of the squad just the two hookers named in Malcolm Marks and Bongi Mnambi with Jan Hendrik Vessels, um, your sort of third hooker option. So I think it just shows you how the versatility keeps you around, really, to be perfectly honest. Obviously, if there is an injury, you know, we will see Jan Kravala being called into the side, but... Um, for now, he will not be there. In the locks, Ibn Etzebe, Salmurat, Ronokia, Arches Neyman, and then Nicholas Janssen van Rensburg. We are in a bit of a midst of a lock crisis. Um, and uh, he was a name mentioned by somebody, uh, a couple of a couple of outlets sort of talking about the fact we might see a, a recall. Uh, it's very interesting, though, that, 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 that uh, we hasn't seen him before, you know. I mean, he came onto the radar um, a few years ago. Obviously, I think once Jean Claim became sort of available, kind of dropped off the radar a bit more, for example, and just further down the radar... Um, but Ruben van Heerden, for example, is somebody who's been on a standby list for the box and yet still doesn't get the call-up. And uh, Nick Jansman Rensburg, well, still he says those old players are going from Montpellier, so age on his side in terms of making another World Cup, um, that's just suddenly thrown back in the mix. If we look at the loose forwards, Ben Jason Dixon, all good and continues to make the squad. Peter Steff, the toy, Sia Khaleesi, Albert Lowe, Quaker Smith, Mark Evenstaden, and Jasper Visa, who is available and uh, fit and ready to fire, hopefully. Um, so he comes into the side uh, or into the squad over there um, and becomes available. Big, big news in the, uh, the scrum. Obviously, no five to close, still injured. Um, but uh, Morty Vandenberg, who got his opportunity last weekend, had a bit of a tough game. He drops out of the squad. Jaden Hendricks is back and playing rugby. He's back in the squad. He joins Kubus Ranach and Grant Williams. My guess would be probably Kubus Ranach and Grant Williams in the first test. We might see Jaden Hendricks in the second test. Flyhouse remain the same. Touch by McGonagall Zulu continues to make the squad, as does Monty Debock and Honje Parat. So good to see that Monty Debock is still in the mix, um, I think is the main thing for me. Uh, four centers are the Kanye, um, Damien Delendi, Andre Estes, and Jesse Creel. In theory, two inside centers, two outside centers. But in practice, you've got somebody like El Kanye, um, who's now being looked at as a genuine 12 option. Damien Elendi is somebody who can also play at 13. And then uh, we've also got an addition in the outside backs. Kurt Lawrence, Apple Fassi, Cheslin Kobe, Bill Luru, and Max Pimpi are joined by Kanan Moody, who is back and is fit and returns to the squad for the first time since the World Cup. And um, yeah, I think a big... Uh, um, opportunity for him to to sort of get himself back in the mix. I think if Edwin van der was fit, I think he would have played a couple more times, and I think he would be really putting pressure on Ken and Moody. But now, um, you know, whether we'll see him against the All Blacks, I'm not entirely sure. I think we'll probably see him definitely against Argentina. Um, but very much seeing sort of the next generation there in the likes of uh, Anapolis Fassi, Ken and Moody, for example, Kurt Lawrence, uh, 
uh, Chesney and Colby, Villeroo, Maximilian Pimpy, sort of the, the older statesman, really. Um, let's go have a look at exactly what uh, Rassi Rasmus has had to say about the uh, about the squad of and uh, this is over here saying uh, as a team we are in a good position in terms of squad depth with 32 of the 33 players on tour playing against the wallabies the only exception was arches neyman because of the injury uh, we have full faith in the young players to showcase their talent once again against a completely different opponent in new zealand uh, adding to that all these players with the exception of nicholas who um, were members of our training squad in Pretoria in july and our lineman camps earlier this year and they've been regular members of the squad in the last few years, so they understand our systems and should slot in with ease. Uh, with regards to Nicholas Jans van Rensburg saying he's had a good season with Montpellier and is a cap spring mark, so we're excited to welcome him back into the fold. Uh, he has also given an update on Arkia Stamman, saying Arkia should be able to chase us this week, and if that's the case, he'll be in contention to face a New Zealand next week. Um, so speaking about the hooker selection there, um, he says that... Uh, Jan Andrew Vessel is a versatile player who enjoys playing both prop and hooker, and we also have Markham and starting a slot into the middle row if needed. Hence, we opted against selecting another hooker. They, that said, we have drawn up an extensive list of standby players we could slot in at any time if we suffer any injuries. That standby list, though, not released by the spring box. So, uh, you know, you, you kind of you have to guess. And like to Jan Krabler, for example, I'm sure Mornay Vandenberg, um, you know, those sort of players, Jun van Heerden, will very much be on the standby list, but not making the final squad over the, at the moment. Um, lots to pick apart in terms of the next week, and we'll sort of have a bit more of an in-depth look at the squad over the next few days. Maybe sort of start looking at sort of who an early team for New Zealand, for example, could be. Um, we'll probably bring that out tomorrow. But what are your initial reactions with the squad? Let me know down in the comments below. Smash a like on the video and subscribe to the channel as well. Who would you like to see against New Zealand? That's also what I want to know. Um, and uh, which of these players do you think are really hard done by? Which, do you feel, which players do you feel sorry for, for example, that have not made the squad that maybe should be? I want to know what you think in the comments below. Thank you all for watching. Uh, my name is Steve. I'll chat to you soon.